Hey everyone, I hope you all are fine. In this session, we all are going to learn how to identify the terminals of diode. The next thing we are going to discuss in the same video that is how to connect this diode in forward and reverse bias condition. And the third thing that we are going to discuss is how to check the diode in multimeter. So this three important thing we are going to learn in this video. So without wasting time, let's begin with the first thing. This is the symbol of diode. There are two terminals in this symbol. This is terminal number one and the terminal number two. The terminal number one is known as anode. The terminal number two is known as cathode. And you all are aware with this. You are not here to understand this thing. You are here to know how to identify terminal of diode of a real diode. So this is the real diode. When you see a real diode, the diode looks like this. And now let's understand how to identify which one is anode and which one is cathode in real diode. This silver line indicates the cathode. So whenever you see the real diode, this silver lining represents the cathode in this condition the silver lining is on this side so this terminal of diode is cathode terminal over here there is no silver line that means this terminal is anode terminal and this is one of the easiest method to identify the terminals of diodes so wherever you find the silver line that terminal of the diode is known as the cathode terminal and when there is no silver line that terminal of diode is known as the anode terminal basically the anode terminal is the positive terminal of the diode and the cathode terminal is the negative terminal of the diode why it is so because it is constructed of p type material p type semiconductor material and it is constructed of n type semiconductor material so the anode is known as the positive and the cathode is known as the negative simply it is the p type or n type but to understand i am representing as positive and negative so p type and n type now we are going to learn how to connect this diode in forward bias as well as in reverse bias condition so let's move to that before moving ahead there is a small question for you and the question is anode is which side of the diode p or n just think quickly and answer me this question in comment section quickly right what is the right answer and then we will move ahead this thing we are going to learn with the help of simulation tool first of all we will prepare the forward bias circuit of the diode for that we will use several components Okay, so circuit of diode forward bias connection is ready. How the diode is connected in forward bias? This is the positive terminal of battery. The positive of battery is connected with the positive of diode. And this is the negative terminal of battery. So the negative terminal of battery is connected with the negative side of the diode. So P side of the diode is connected with the positive of battery whereas N side of the diode is connected with the negative of the battery. So this is the forward bias condition of the diode. Now let's play the simulation. This is the light emitting diode. If it keeps on red that means the diode is in forward bias condition and it is conducting. So let's run the simulation and we can see that the red line is still on right. What we'll do now we'll stop the simulation we'll select everything we'll copy and we'll paste everything over here now we want to connect this diode in reverse bias condition so we'll remove it control x control v again press control r 
control plus r two times so it will change its direction and now again connect this diode so in this condition the positive of battery is connected to the n side of the diode and negative of the battery is connected to the p side of diode and this is known as the reverse bias condition of the diode so now what we'll do again we'll run the simulation and we'll observe that in forward bias condition diode will conduct and in reverse bias condition diode will not conduct so let's run you can observe that when the diode is connected in forward bias the led is turned on and from here you can observe that when the diode is connected in reverse bias condition this led will not function right so this is how you can learn how to connect diode in forward bias as well as in reverse bias condition. Now let's move for the next topic. Before moving ahead, there is a quick question for you and the question is how to connect diode in forward bias condition. A. Positive of battery with anode and negative of battery with cathode. B. Negative of battery with anode and positive of battery with cathode answer me this question quickly in comment section below what do you think that how to connect the diode in forward bias condition if you have understand it properly answer me in comment section now I'm going to tell you how to check the diode with multimeter I have prepared the same video for this thing and if you want to watch that separate video then the link for that video is provided down in description box. Here I am explaining this thing in short. This is the multimeter, simple multimeter. We have a diode. To check the diode, first of all we need to rearrange this knob. This knob is right now in voltage section. We need to shift this knob and arrange this knob in this diode and continuity checking section so just turn this knob in this direction and then connect this terminal to the positive of the diode and this terminal to the negative of the diode or if you don't know what is the positive and negative terminal of the diode you just place this knob in this manner connect randomly if the display shows 0 0.7 volt reading that means the red line this red terminal is connected with the positive of the diode and this black is connected with the negative or end side of the diode if we assume the reverse condition if you have connected this diode in reverse condition or in this manner then this display shows 0, 0.00 volts reading this is how you can check the diode using multimeter whether the diode is working properly or not Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn this thing more and more in future, then stay connected with the channel. And if you have liked the video, then please give a like. That is a big motivation for me. So bye bye until we meet in next video. Have a nice day.